Hi guys and welcome to this video. If you're watching this video, it means we are still camping and it was pre-recorded for you. But um, I did an Instagram poll and I asked you guys, what do you want to see? How much it costs to keep four horse, five horses at home or a barn tour? And you guys said you wanted a barn tour. So Gabby and I are here and we're going to do it for you. So uh, this is a bit of a transition stage for us. We're still getting things set up for fall. Fall is going to bring big changes for this farm. We're setting up our area here to build a paddock out here. Uh, we got a bunch of grass um, cut, property cleaned from rocks and stuff. So eventually our three big horses are going to be out there in a big huge field. Keep in mind that our barn is a work in progress still. It's going to take a long time before this thing is set up the way we want it. Um, right inside the door over here is where we keep our shavings. We usually buy 10 bags at a time and don't go over that. We can store them nicely right here. Uh, this area also acts as our first cross tie area. We have some cross ties there. Uh, barrier works and here. Half yeah, half a mat. Mats are on our list. Um, when we first walk in, we have Stella's stall. To the left. When we first walk in to the left, we have Stella's stall. She's got her bridle and her lead her rope. Halter. halter. Yeah, she's got her, yeah. Why don't you tell them? Because you know all the right words. Okay, so and this. To the right directly. This is, yeah, Stella's area. And then to the across right. Across the hall. Across the hall is. Storm stall. Okay, you show them storm stall. Just wait. Um, and just outside there, we have these little hooks that we bought long ago. Um, we they use them. Junk. They just hold junk because it's a junk area. I like to put our shipping bumpers here, which I need to get another one of those today. Our shipping bumpers and our leather lead ropes for travel. Lead ropes? Our leather halters for travel. Gabby, you need to do the talking. I have not had my coffee yet. I have bridles. Because I tried to fit it to Gracie, but they don't fit. Okay, so over here is? Storm Stall. Yeah. And he and likes it. And shaving. Yeah, he's yeah. got a window. And I'll, I'll lick it then. Yeah, he's, he's got a lick it. Stella does not have a lick it Look, because... he actually licks it. See, yeah. it's dented. Stella does not have a lick it because she's not allowed to have that much sugar. But Storm likes it. And uh, right across from Storm Stall is no it's gracie's well um by the end of this season it'll be finn stall but right now it has previously been willow stall also just outside here walking in gracie's. is our grooming station and we have another one of those hooks on the wall here um we keep things that we use regularly we keep our our brushes and stuff here because our this is where schools. Yeah, our stools. With brushes inside. Yeah, and over here, going down, area. down this hall is another cross tie area. No mats. Yeah, no mats yet. They are on our list. So this is our fourth stall over here, and it is Finn's stall. You can tell because he always poops down the wall. You might think it's because he's a dirty horse, but really he's extra clean. He tries to poop along the edges and keep all and of his. He pees everywhere. What? Then he pees everywhere. Like that is not a lie. He I does. Lays in his pee. He also has a licket in his stall. This is covered by flies and it's just all sorts of gross. This is only a couple days old. This is what he does at night. He eats his licket. This is our new horse, Gabby. Her color is yellow. Over here. We have ribbons hanging up too. Yeah, the girls have been decorating their their stalls. I want to. I just want one ribbon, you guys. Just one ribbon for me and Stella. Mom wants 15 first place ribbon. No, I All don't right. really care. Right just wait. Be Willow stall soon. This is going to be. This was our feed area. It's also a wash stall, storage stall. It is a catch all stall. Um, Sam's going to be building when we come back from our camping trip. He's going to be building a stall in here for Willow. And uh, Gracie is going to take over this stall. <clears throat> so the minis, the small ones will be on this side here. The big ones will all be over there. <coughs> so coming straight through is a door. A half door. We did this when we moved in. 
So uh, this is our tiny arena. With ponies that actually come up to you. Yeah, with an amazing little pony that actually loves people. She's doing super well. We kind um, of rattle pass, we just didn't shave it. Yeah, we need to shave it. So in the arena, we have this little nook, which I love. It houses our whips, uh, whips and uh, dressage whips, and it also has a hook over there for like bridles whips and stuff. Um, with this place, we'll have our chairs in it again. We have special chairs that we'll be putting here once the fall happens after our camping trip. This will be our viewing area where we sit. The footing is going to be happening soon. I'm going to explain in another video all our plans that we're going to be doing um, this fall. Uh, so we have a muck bucket over here. We have a gate so that we can open both sides of these doors. Uh, as it gets colder, that door will be closed and that gate will be removed. We'll be painting. We have a few gates now. We'll be painting them. Um, so this is where the horses can go in and out. Out to here. And that's Gabby's chair over there. That's her. No, I won't. This is not a barn to. That is not a barn to her thumbnail. That is, uh, this is my chair thumbnail. Over here we have our small fields that we've been working with. We have a field here for the minis to go in and out. We have a field in the middle where Stella is right now. Sometimes Finn is with her. And way back at the back we have another field that uh, the boys are in. I am in love with this tree. This tree is so well placed. This tree gives our horses a lot of shade. Stairs in our little arena go up to the loft which houses all of our hay. We have our all of our stuff for our fencing here. We also have lighting so that when um, it's later in the season we can ride in here at night if we want. the kids would this is where we'll get our hay in the winter time we'll just throw it down all right so coming back through the door which I love this door I love having this arena I've said it before I've said it so many times having this arena just for our horses to come in and out of the rain this arena has literally been the best for bonding playing videos like it is amazing and when we have our forever farm I can tell you now it's gonna have one of these all right so we are inside most of you guys have already seen this view um, we are gonna go into there's the door we are gonna go into our tack area of the barn um, so there's a little window here we have right inside we have all of our saddles we have our saddle pads underneath here and we have our boots uh, we have a shelf over there and usually it houses our extra stuff and our helmets uh, we have a fan that we sometimes put in when it gets too hot for Finn. Um, we have all of our bridles and halters and lunging ropes. And I definitely want to go through that at some point because apparently we have a lot of halters and lead ropes and I this don't hardly have any. Mine, and this is the end of mine. As you can see, there's only one neat person. And then this is the start of Sophia's. And this is the end of Sophia's. Where's Laura's? Your bridle's right underneath this one. We also put all of our girths here as well. Uh, not mine. I keep mine always yeah. on top of my saddle. So, uh, probably not the best thing, but we do have a bunch of girths over here. There's a girth here, a girth there, and a girth there. Cinch! Cinch, yeah. So, um, we also house our tack trunk here. I think we're going to get maybe this winter another tack trunk oh, for no, Christmas. Oh, we definitely are. Yeah, we definitely are. We need to. They'll go underneath here. That's all of our show stuff. Um, these are Finn's new Cavallo boots for camping. Over here, we just have a random table. And this table gets used for everything. It gets used for, like, junk. Gabby is making these um, reins. And I want her to finish them because I love them. She started them in camp. We have a raccoon, like a, month ago. a raccoon skull, which I want to paint. But there's a couple of those. Um, we have uh, just a bunch of stuff that whenever the girls get stuff out, out 
um, then they just leave them here. Toilet paper, every barn needs toilet paper. Um, some of our grooming stuff. Over here we have extra saddle pads. It's kind of a bit of a mess right now and we have storage from some of our other um, barn stuff. Over here just inside the door is our blanket section which I need to clean all these. That is something that I need to do in the month of September that is on my calendar. I need to clean all their blankets but I like it that we have them hung up and out of the way. Um, I use grain bags for garbage. That is our garbage section. Over here is another catch-all area where we have boots. Uh, there's Stella's grazing muzzle under there that we will be utilizing eventually. Uh, we have polo wraps, ear bonnets, jumping boots. For all of you guys who are worried about our horses having jumping boots, they have jumping boots. And then over here is all of our cleaning section, our saddle cleaning, horse cleaning, all of our fly sprays. Gabby is in the free in the freezy section. Um, so yeah this is got all of our supplies for cleaning we also have stuff even like to clean our own hands and stuff um so then we're gonna move over to our so then we're gonna move over to our water station the water is getting hooked up in this barn before winter um uh, until then we use this system sam runs water from the house into this big huge tank uh this is where we clean our buckets and fill them each day so that the horses, our horses drink so that our horses have all fresh water and it works for us it might not be the best system but it works for us right now uh, it won't work for us in the winter but it's great for now over on this table is sam's stuff uh, we gave him a table in the barn we didn't actually give him a table in the barn mm -hmm. but he took it and so mm -hmm. yeah that's his tools Maybe and stuff. All that sad stuff yeah and he helps keep our barn running and going smoothly so i don't i don't mind that he has some stuff so over here is our medical stuff. This is all um, our syringes and uh, dewormers and bandages and needles and and all that kind of stuff. And vet wrap. <gasps> yeah, and lots of vet wrap. There's a few vet wrap. We need to pack vet wrap. All right, here. So go. then, just wait. So then over here is our feeding station and it might not look like much, but I love our feeding station. Um, so basically we don't store extra grain. Our grain store is just down the road from us. So we buy every week the grain that we need. Uh, we store it in these tubs. Um, these are our grain. Yeah, they, so uh, these are our two grains that we use. One is salt and one is just storage. We put extra bags and stuff in there on top. On top, we always have our grain ready for the next meal. Uh, we feed the cat over here as well. These are the supplements that we use most. So they just kind of sit there. They're not all the same supplements. They're different yeah. inside. Mm -hmm. One is like, salt. One is this something. This one's Stella's supplement. No, this one's Stella's supplement. This one's Finn's and this one's the powder that they all get in the morning. Yeah. So these are kind of just a mishmash. I've got some electrolytes here. I've got the cat food here. Um, I have, I keep every single lid to every bottle that we ever use because let me tell you, those are interchangeable. They fit other bottles. So over in the next one are all of our supplements. These are usually in there, but the girls use them and never put them back. I um, always put them back. This bucket. Oh, and and this one's willows yeah so over here in this very messy one is the one that we don't reach very often this is all of our medications that can just go in the garbage um we have our antibiotics we have our banamine we have our butte we have goat food which we don't have a goat <laughs> And then, yeah, and then over here is where we store our extra treats. So yeah, it's a little bit messy, but it works for us. There's a chalkboard that we could write stuff on. There's, we have a little bit more room for storage if we need it. Why is this open? I don't know. Can you close it? There's a chipmunk. There's a chipmunk. You. Probably me. I filled it up. Okay. Yeah. So over in this section, it's still not completely finished, but we have our fridge. Sam has a bunch of junk in there. We have our fridge here. And it has nothing in it, but there are some freezies. Um, we need to put more water in there. I uh, keep our umbrella that we take to show. My car seats for my grandkids when they're with us. Just the best storage place I have. Also this supplement that I use. It's the powder supplement in one of those buckets. 
yeah, I, this is just the thing I use for my chickens. So I remember moving into this barn and thinking like, how's it gonna look? How's it gonna go? Is it gonna be too big? Is it gonna be too small? And it seems like everything fits perfectly inside here. A little messy. We're always gonna be a work in progress. A little? Yeah, and that's okay. But anyway, um, so on this side of the barn, outside this door is another big, huge mess. Huge mess of weeds and stuff. Um, the water for the barn is over here. It's gonna be hooked up. And once it does get hooked up, this whole entire section all the way back will be another field like for the winter and stuff for our horses. So we'll have like field all the way around the complete barn. There's a door, they'll be able to access the arena. So all of our horses will have access to that shelter in the winter. There'll be so many changes, so many things that will that will happen over the course of the fall while we get ready for winter. I'm sure I'll do another updated barn tour, but that is it, you guys. That is our barn tour. It is where we are and from where we are. Um, and in the last eight months, things have changed so drastically. Um, Sometimes I get frustrated that things aren't done faster and and more the way I want them to be, but I'm really happy and really grateful to have this little barn and to have our horses home and to be able to be here with them. And uh, as things change, I'm loving it even more. Anyway, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, we'll be home soon. And you guys are gonna get to see all the adventures we had when we were away camping with our horses. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs>